the skies. In terms of its size and its dominance over any other predator of the skies, that is. A vast bird. Difficult to get its, picture, its size from there, but I mean, of course, we've seen them at Juma many times. And despite its vast size, uh, it only weighs about four kilograms, which is just under two pounds, which I don't think is particularly... No, not two pounds, sorry, just under... just over eight pounds. Oh, nine pounds. And that, despite the fact that it is, well, sort of, what is 80 centimetres? 80 centimetres in inches is about... Well, that's 12 inches, uh, plus it's 24, 60, so call it um, 30 inches tall. So it's quite light for a bird that size, and of course it's because its bones are hollow. And he'll be looking for lizards and other birds that are walking sort of uh, gormlessly through the grass, thinking what a lovely life this is, perhaps even a small antelope. That we would find around here. You might find a steenbok or so, you might find a duck duck if you were very lucky. And I suppose in the forest you'd probably have a couple of dica. All of which would be fair game for this massive bird. And the wind is starting to come up a bit, but this time completely from the opposite direction from the way that it came yesterday. Rebecca, is it raining at camp? It looks like it might be from where I'm sitting. But there's no rain at camp, that's excellent. Our camp is just underneath that big cloud, Angama Mara. Magnificent lodge, if you've ever been to, uh, where ever intend coming to Kenya, well, have, it up, have a look at it, because I've got to tell you, I think, uh, well, its owner's, of course, very, very experienced. And They've taken all that experience and created what I think is probably one of the most beautiful lodges in Africa. What I like especially about it is that no one, no, none of the staff are dressed in khaki colours. They're all dressed in blue and red, which I think is so cool. 